Hey, hey. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> no, I am not Santa Claus. But then again, maybe I am. Because I do come bearing gifts. Oh, wait, thumbnail shot. Oh, the thumbnail shot. Maybe I should just take a picture. Oh, so I was going to tell you about, oh, the first gift. First gift given to us. You know, that's a lot nicer using this thing with these frames. 300 videos. 300 videos. You got your 300 videos yet? Yeah, when you hit 300 videos, it's like 10,000 hours. How many hours? Oh, you got some people that just do a quick hit video. You know, if you look at, okay, so I'm not going to drop her name. The first video she put, it was a long video, very captivating. And she hit all the right, uh, the right buttons for length, watch time. You know, you got two people that watch the video and she's got an hour's worth of watch time out of two viewers. She was right place, right time. She's probably going through some kind of burnout because I don't really know if that's really what she wants to do. You got to really want to do it. And there's other people. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention Peter McKinnon again. I've been going to his Cinemagraphic Institute. I don't know how many lessons I'm in. It makes it kind of tough to try to emulate him. So I've been doing all kinds of video. I got tons of video, you know, doing little sweeps across some plants and stuff like that, but. It's all been blind because I have my GoPro, and if I get down, I can't see it with the phone, with the back of the phone. You know, like I took some shots of some wheat the other day. You know, just panned across, but I can't see the phone, so all my stuff is blind. Wait a minute, I was telling you about the greatest gift. See, I don't have my microphone. I'm supposed to have my microphone on right now, but it has... It is pretty quiet. I'm just sitting in the truck. Window's about half down. It's probably pretty hot out. But I had the air on, so it's got to cool everything, all the upholstery first. The greatest gift. Do you remember? Oh, yes, back about Santa Claus. Do you remember the first gift that you ever got? Think back, think back. What was the first gift that you can remember opening on a Christmas? A lot of times it's hard to remember back to all the different Christmases. You can remember back to so many gifts, but do you know what the first gift was that was ever given to you? you know, sometimes your parents will save, you know, like a, a sleeper or something like that. Was that, the, was that the first gift you ever got? The first gift you ever got was given to you by God. That's when he sent his son, Jesus. And that's your first gift. That's the best gift. A lot of people, they don't want to accept the gift. They think there's strings attached. Oh, oh if I accept this gift, I got to do this now. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. It's a free gift. God gave it to you. You know, if you pay attention to what he says, his teaching, because it's universal. It's like the Bible is an instruction book. If you accept the gift, God gives you his instruction book. You don't even have to accept the gift. You can still read the instruction book, and a lot of people do, to disprove it or find falsities or whatever with it. You can read through it, and it will reveal the truth to you up to a certain point. Because it's, there's a lot more in depth that you can go if you've got a translator. You know, if somebody is able to translate the word for you. Now, so we've got all these different translations now. You've got, I use the King James, in case you're wondering what I use, but you got the NIV, the New International, the New King James, the Passion. There's one that I, I don't even know, it's BWE, something, I don't know how I know it is by BWE. But God also gave you another gift, and that was a personal interpreter of the Word of God, called the Holy Spirit. Now, you got to accept the Holy Spirit as a gift. It's given to you. It's a package. Here it is. Do you want it? You've got it, but you got to open it. Everybody's got it. Everybody's got it. It's been given to you. It's like uh, if you, uh, Christmas. <laughs> I just find that hilarious. Little kids think I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> it's kind of fun. i got to admit it is kind of fun. You gotta slip Jesus in there. Though. Do I look like Moses? What's Moses look like? Or do I look like Jonah? You know, I should tell you the story of Jonah. I'm gonna run out of phone space. This phone's been going for a long time. I just went and got my tires. Well, I ordered them. And my bank keeps sending me this credit card statement thing saying, well, you know, 
If you get a, take this credit card, we'll give you $150 cash back. If you spend like $3,000 or so, charge some amount of money on it or whatever. I don't know what it is. Wouldn't be hard to do. So I haven't had a credit card. I used a credit card in a long time. I used to just pay for everything. But that's a big chunk of money. You know, just a four grand check. That's a lot. <laughs> so, and if they're going to give me $150 off. What a crazy mess that was. I was going to get some Michelins. You know, the ones that are recommended for it. And the Michelins are going to run like, I need six tires. And these Michelins are going to run about $586 or something. And they, they can get them, but, you know, the, the tire that's recommended as its replacement actually has a better sidewall resistance to UV. Because the Michelins, the sidewall is cracked. That's what's wrong with these. The sidewalls are all cracked. They've got deep cracks in them. And the Toyo, I guess, they don't have that problem. Michelins, I guess, have it. don't get me wrong. I love Michelin tires, but I don't know. Coming up on the 4th. I don't even know when you're going to see this. Let me say, but coming up in a couple weeks, I got to use the motorhome to go on a long trip, so I can't use these tires, but I got to get some tires. It, it's getting down to the wire. The, they still can't they still can't get these tires. Finally got the Michelins, but yeah, oh, that's a that's a lot of money. 6 tires and 600. That's 3600. Now the Toyos are cheaper. Well, that's what I did. I went to Les Schwab, trying to give them my business or whatever, and they were going to do these tires and everything for about $2,300, uh, $2,364, $2,364, which is great. Let's do it. But they don't have any tires. They got them in the warehouse. Now, I can order them, but I got no guarantees. It might be two weeks. It might be six weeks. Well, I can't play this game. I'm down to... About a two-week window, a little less than two weeks. I don't know, maybe he was trying to get me to get the Michelins. They couldn't guarantee me the tires, so I said, how much to mount them, throw the bead bag in there, and swap them back on the motorhome. You know, some valve stems. hundred bucks a tire. Well, let me get into it. I, I was just thinking that as far as mounting them, I'll get this thought out. As far as mounting them, I'll bet I can check some of the, like there's a, Oh, Good Sam, if I join Good Sam or something like that, it'll be cheaper. I'll go to one of the RV places. I'll go to the Good Sam place. Let's see how much they charge per tire. Les Schwab quoted me 100 bucks a tire. So let me tell you about the tires. So uh, normally I had a, all this was all planned out where it would all work out. I'd go get, get the credit card. Uh, it would take like, you know, 7, 10 days. Then I would go down and I would get the tires, get the tires put on the vehicle in time to go on this trip in about three weeks. But there's no tires. So they found some Michelin tires. But these Michelin tires, I need six of them. $586. Yeah, you thought that was a good price too, huh? And it was $586. Before I found them like a week or so ago, I found them, but I'd have to order them. They wouldn't get here in time. Maybe they would. I don't know. I don't like doing that anyway. I got a friend, Mark, McGi Mark MacGyver. He does custom metal work. He's, he's good, man. Fabrication, fabulous. Mark's, Mark's good. Good at what he does. Now, he turned me on to this guy named Bryson, who runs a little tire place. They can't mount the tires or anything like that, but he can buy the tire. Instead of the Michelins, they have some Toyos. I went down to Les Schwab about the Michelins. I said, oh, man, that's just an awful lot of money when these Toyos, which are seem to be the replacement that everybody goes to, I can get six of those for less than $2,000, including tax. Or I can get them for 1942 I can get all six tires. So I figured two grand. I mean, uh, this uh, that's a lot of money difference between spending 536 a tire times six you're looking at six seven hundred dollars difference well that's quite a bit the drawback of the michelin i love michelin tires they ride fab they're nice a tire. they're a nice tire but the tread uh, is going to last longer than the tire itself so the problem with an rv tire is that you need to have a sidewall that's got some type of uv protection otherwise they're going to crack that's what's wrong with the michelins that are on it right now is the sidewalls are cracked because of uv well the toyos don't have that problem they last a lot longer and they're very similar now all these reviews People are telling me they ride the same. I've only, I haven't driven it a ton on the Michelins. So I'm going to get the Toyos. So I go down to Les Schwab, and I told him I'd rather go with the Toyos. So he says, okay. So he calls. He says they, he doesn't know if he can get any now. He offered me Toyos the, yesterday when I was in there. 
when I talked about the Michelins, he says they do have Toyos too. So today I said, well, let's go with the Toyos. So he calls as well. He doesn't know if there are any around. So he calls his warehouse. Says, yeah, they got some in the warehouse. But then he doesn't know if he can get them. He says, might be two weeks, might be six weeks. Uh, but they got, I can't, I can't play that kind of game. That's too much gambling going on there. But his price, he ended up with a price, mounted, balanced, everything, all ready to rock and roll with the, with the bags in and everything for, uh, what, uh, 2364 Lots of deal. Let's do it. But he can't get the tire. So I can get the tires. I can have the tire. I can have the tires tomorrow. I can get these tires, and I can get the tires for 1942. But if I have Les Schwab put the tires on, they want a hundred dollars a tire to mount valve stems and throw in the bags. Hundred bucks a tire. I've never had big tires like this done before. Is that a lot? I mean, they are a bigger tire. But I think I'm going to go to some place like Camping World, and I'm going to join Good Sam. We'll see how much they charge. But we'll find out how much they charge, and then I'll just have them mount the tires. It's probably going to be a lot cheaper because I'll use their Good Sam discount. We'll see if I can save enough to pay for the Good Sam membership. Are you kidding me? A hundred bucks a tire? I ought to be able to. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been dealing with Schwab for 15 years. All my tires, everything I buy. They used to take really good care of me. Well, they still do at times. So I got two, three different cars, my shock, all the tires, about wheels for my street rod from them, everything. I wonder how much Jax would charge. I'll have to call Jax. All right, so I'm going to cut this off. But that's my tire story. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, the thumbs.